Girl, we got some tea to talk about, and I'm so happy to say that Summer Walker is officially done with uh, that man on the track, okay? I forgot his name. Roman on the track. Track on the track. Something on the track. Anywho, girl, did you know she's over him and been broken up over him for over a month? Congratulations. I'm so happy for you, boo. And you know what? We got to talk about it. We're going to have to talk about the straw that broke the camel's back. And you know what? These girls, they're finally getting it. Regine, Summer on a track. They are breaking up with these toxic men. And we definitely have to congratulate these girls and keep on pushing them, okay? So before I go all into detail on what's going on with Summer Walker and that man on a track... I'm going to need y'all to do me a favor. And for everybody that this is your first time over here at the Gossip Girl XOXO, baby, you in for a treat, okay? Because we gossip over here. Gossip gang, gossip gang train, where y'all at? Let them know how we do over here. We gossip. We talk about rumors, the lies, the truth, the news. Hey, any and everything. We upload three times a day. And not only that, boo. We also have a community tab. We also be uploading pictures of celebrities, dragging them, and uplifting them, honey. It is a sight to see. <laughs> yes, when I tell you this gossip game, honey, they be gossiping right along with my ass, and that's what makes us a family. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, because I don't want you to miss none of this. All right, and shout out to my gossip gang crew, Shantae Chin. I see you, boo. Hey, Shantae Shin. Your ass been spotted. And I hope I pronounced your stuff right. If I don't, please forgive me. So, girl, y'all ready? Let's get it started. Oh, did you want a shout out too? Girl, no problem. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click that notification bell. Get all the subscriptions, honey. And make sure you just be one of the first people to comment or just comment all the time, honey. And I'm going to spot your ass. So let's start. So Summer Walker, do you guys remember a long time, like a month ago, uh, she was on Instagram and London on a track. That's his name. I know it was something on a track. But uh, London on a track, he had a video going out. He had his paws all wrapped around her damn neck. It was so miserable. It was so disturbing to see that video. And not only that, you should see her face, girl. It looked like she was embarrassed. Looked like she wanted to cry. It looked like she was suffocating, you know. And she kept on telling London, please stop. Please stop. You're hurting me. You're hurting me, okay? She wasn't laughing. She wasn't giggling. And he up there enjoying the shit, videotaping the shit, talking about some say you love me, forcing his love on her and putting it out for the world to see that he's the man in the relationship. He run Summer Walker. Because a lot of these men, they just like a damn Ike. You remember when Ike was getting big, I mean, Tina was getting big and she was becoming a star and Ike got more controlling. That's exactly how they said the London on the track man was. So he wanted to show the world how he get down. And he, you know how these men are, girl. They want to show off in front of their homeboys that they run that shit and they got that shit on lock. Okay. Yeah, honey. So that was all about that. I don't know if it was, um, what do you call that? The Illuminati, which y'all say they always doing the sacrifice. I don't know if it was a sacrifice that he needed her to be humiliated. You know, I don't know what they got going on over there, but they said after that video, girl, everybody would start dragging London on the track and they dragged Summer Walker for putting that out there. They said, girl, that ain't right. You need to break up with him. And it was reports time at the time that he's been abusive towards other women. Yes, girl, putting the paws on other women. Now, you know that ain't right, okay? And I don't know, maybe Summer Walker feel like she's special, that he ain't going to do it to her. He showed her ass, okay? <laughs> Honey, boo. So, 
you know, after all the buzz and everybody was dragging London on the track, you know, behind closed doors, he ain't like all that shit. He ain't like them dragging. So they was arguing back and forth, honey. It was something nasty. London was like, you need to go out there, make an apology, tell these mother effers that I was just joking. You can't have my name running in the mud. See, that's the shit I'm talking about. See, you made this shit look bad, girl. It was so bad. He even blamed her. He said, you did that. You up there looking like it's hurting, and she like it did hurt. Shit, you you was hurting me on that goddamn video. I didn't want to do that. That was all surprise. You know what I'm saying? Cause I guess he was doing some impromptu shit, you know. And um, he was like, "No, you need to go out. Let these people know it was just joking. Whatever, whatever." Girl, all the men in the comment section, it was capping for his ass, talking about it's supposed to been sexy. What's sexy about that? What's sexy about a man um, putting his paws on you and hurting you? Okay? Something wrong. Something wrong here. They think that shit is sexy. Um, so, mind you, is so many women and men that goes unreported, that deal with domestic abuse from their partners, that deal with domestic abuse from family members, and that shit ain't cute, nor is it funny, or should it be glamorized for entertainment, you know? Um, so, uh, two days, couple of days later, you know, it took her a long time because she had to cope and figure out what's going on here. She came out and she said, you guys are just tripping um, it was not that serious. You know, he did not, he would never hurt me. It was just a joke. And that was it, you know? And we never really heard anything else about the situation. He did not come out. He did not issue apology, which he should have. Because even if he was a joke, you still offended a whole group of her fan base. And you offended so many women that deals with that. And how dare y'all sitting up here mocking that type of bullshit when people go through that stuff every single day. And it's a lot of your damn fans parents and a lot of your fans that are, are in domestic uh, toxic damn relationship and how dare you get on Instagram girl and just play out like it's nothing it's just for kits and giggles and it's just for a funny scene no he should have came out and apologized listen I apologize if I offend anybody that was not my intention you know, um, I, I do realize and I am aware that the hurt that I may cause or the bad memories I may sprung up by doing that, you know, I know you guys care about Summer Walker and I care about her too. I love her. She's the world of my world. Why couldn't he say something like that? Why couldn't he been accountable, spoke up, you know, admit to his wrong, apologize, he ain't like that. That's why. That damn ego and that pride. That's what it is, girl. So they said after that, Summer Walker, they done broke up, honey. And they've been keeping it on the low. Yeah, honey, they've been keeping it on low. And that's why if you go search it up now, Summer Walker break up when London on the track. Gone, girl. Google that boy. Who, let's, I just be saying, girl, go on, Google it now, and you're going to see new articles popping up and people that's close to Summer Walker confirming they've been broke up for over a month. Yes, honey, been broke up for over a month. So congratulations, Lisa Summer Walker. She did something right with breaking up with this man, and I hope she still be strong like Regine with that NFL Lucci man and just keep his ass away. And I hope I hope this is a trend where these girls are not dealing with these toxic men and breaking up with these toxic men and getting their ass a Russell. Okay? Get you a Russell. Dump a future. Let future deal with the damn strippers. Let these men be in a relationship with the strippers. And when you see a man in a relationship with the stripper, don't hate on the damn stripper. Allow, look, wouldn't you rather him being in a relationship with that damn stripper versus being with you and, sh and cheating on your ass and disrespecting you with multiple strippers. Let these people be who they are, all right? Stop trying to turn everybody what you want their ass to be. That's how you're going to get shit fucked up, okay? When you want to get, I want you to be this this person, and I want you to be, if you a hoe, be a hoe, okay? Let people see your truth, you know?
That I I I, I would you know I want to know if I'm dealing with a hoe, they a hoe. So I won't be no surprise. Don't come to me like you damn faithful. But you know what? I have some good instincts and I have good intuition. So you can lie to me all day and tell me you this and you that. And I can see right through that shit. When I tell you my spiritual and I can connect and I, I know what's going on, I can sense shit. Somebody just walk up in here and I can sense bad energy, good energy. You know what's going on in the future. I really can, you know, you got to connect to yourself. And when you're more connected to yourself and you're con more connected to your spiritual being and who you are, you can sense stuff real easy. You can detect shit real easy, you know, because you are aware of your surroundings. You're aware of yourself. And, um, hey, you know, you have some, some, a lot of standards and boundaries and you know what's going to take it off and what not, you know. But anyway, I'm just rambling at this point. Make sure you guys like this video, share this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Gossip Girl, XOXO. You know you love me. And I love y'all too. And I'll see y'all sooner than later. Bye.